Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All Educational Videos channel. We are continuing with learning Scratch, we are continuing with Scratch tutorials and in this video we are going to try to learn how and when to use Scratch block which is named Point Towards. Let's go to Scratch to see that in action. In last few videos we were experimenting and learning how and when to use direction which means rotation angle and we have used a couple of blocks like point in direction, set rotation style and so on. So we have made our cat move to the left and change its direction and that works fine and in this video and, and for this new block I think uh, coding it into get uh, would make uh, not much sense uh, I don't know how to use it to make something interesting but I will use it for uh, this arrow sprite we have uh, used this arrow sprite for previous few lessons if you haven't watched them just go to choose a sprite open a scratch sprite library and pick arrow from it it's uh, sixth from the start and it will show up on your stage we have coded it before so we can change its direction if we press top bottom left and right keys but you I think you won't need that for this video and okay so now let's find this point towards its below point in direction this block and it's a motion block blue one so go to motion blocks pick the point towards and drag and drop it to the scratch programming window and uh, if we compare it compare it to previous one to point in direction both of them look very very similar so what's the difference well the different is difference is that we are you're going to type in this first one in first block point in direction which we have explained in previous video you're typing those numbers here or drag this arrow here with this circle and that's how you define direction in which you want your sprite to rotate to, po to point and that's it but for this uh, scratch block which we are explaining today today point towards uh, that block doesn't have field in which you can type the uh, value but it, instead it has drop down menu and in that drop down menu you actually have only two possible options one is to use mouse pointer and the second one is to use some sprite some character on the screen we will explain both of them let's try first to find the cat sprite uh, it's first on the it's second from the top but first of the sprites so click on point towards cat and click now uh, on this block before attaching it to others so let's see what will happen and, and if you have watched the stage the arrow uh, just jumped to point to the cat let's do it again uh, the starting position is direction 45 we have defined that earlier but now if I click on this block the arrow will point to the cat just like that so if I move the cat to the top and click again it will point to the cat again that's cool so uh, this uh, what this block does and how it's differ from pointing direction is that you use this block to point towards some sprites or to mouse point pointer instead of type typing the values and that's how you can um, uh, very very quickly achieve very complex results we will explain it now when it's used in which games but it's much much uh, faster to use it, this block than to try to define this 
cat's direction here by typing numbers or by using some kind of other blocks. I, I think it's possible to use some kind of blocks which I haven't explained yet. Uh, some operators, maybe we will do it later in some later videos, but for now uh, it would be too complex and I haven't ex explained them yet. But you could achieve, uh, you could make this point towards block by using this one point in direction and combining it with some kind of operators. But as I said, it's more complex and it would take much more time so scratch programmers made that for you and all you have to do is now is just uh, take this point towards block and then pick sprite at which you want your sprite to sh uh, point to so let's delete this first one let's zoom out and let's attach this now to some block okay as we have seen here and in previous lesson when I want scratch to check something I once I put it for example here under this when green flag clicked and it will happen once only so it the arrow points to the cat but I don't want that to stop after one second I want that to repeat forever and as we have learned before to use that forever we just go on the control blocks and pick forever blocks and now we have to put this point over towards cat into this forever so now uh, scratch will check this forever block forever that means this arrow sprite will follow the position of the cat in terms of rotation uh, what that means it, it will rotate wherever the cat goes uh, this arrow will rotate and point towards it which look which will look uh, great but what i want to detach here because i used this arrow keys left right top and bottom here on the arrow and here on cat also that is a little bit confusing so I will detach this left right and top and bottom arrow keys and now start the game and what will happen we will uh, we will be able to move the cat to control it because we have coded that before here in the cat sprite but also because we have coded here the arrow the arrow will always orient itself towards the cat so let's try that in action so when i move the cat now to the left to the top to the bottom or to the right the arrow will rotate always pointing to the cat and that and that will happen forever uh, why because we have used the forever block here and as you can see border around this block is yellow which means scratch is reading it all the time it doesn't stop reading okay so let's try to move our cat and look how look how this arrow rotates also it follows it follows this cat and it looks really really nice and smooth and elegant and it was only one piece of code uh, two blocks of code I'm sorry two blocks of code we have used forever block and you we have used point towards block so you will use this block to make one sprite one character one object point towards the other you can use it once only or forever as we have used it just here and uh, one of the simplest examples which comes on my mind uh, now is probably uh, tower defense game so for example if you're making tower defense game this is how you can uh, code your tower defense turret to follow the enemies so if the cat is the enemy and this red arrow is the tower the cat goes to attack some tower and this tower shoots on it simple as that that's one of the use usage for it and it was really really fast to code it so that was when we want one sprite to point towards the other sprite 
and let's see now what will happen if I use mouse pointer instead of sprite so it will uh, be very very similar but instead of uh, uh, this arrow pointing to the cat it will point to my mouse pointer so you can see that the arrow is following my mouse pointer and I can drive it crazy like this or go slow slowly and again the simplest example which comes on my mind uh, when and how to use it in games is for example when when you make top-down shooters like zombie shooters like hotline miami and so on when you have top-down character and you have some uh, uh, shooting game you know, when you have some enemies around you and you go to the left and to the right and you rotate your character like this uh, I will probably code that in some of the next videos but you can see how simply simple is that and you can uh, try to do it on your own you know you know how you know now how to rotate the character you know now how to uh, control the character to move so you can try to code the top down shooter game for yourself and maybe I don't think there are some top down shooter Top-down shooters, uh, shooters, sprites here, some uh, soldiers, enemies. I think Scratch doesn't like that. Uh, these are mostly friendly sprites, uh, peaceful, not nothing uh, with ar uh, with weapons and arms and so on. So you will have to make that on your own. But as I said, maybe we will do it together in some of the next videos okay this one was really really simple and uh, easy to test and try so i think that's enough for this video and i hope you you got it right and um, try to uh, to experiment a little bit with it and play with it and um, maybe you will come uh, come with some ideas for your original games and applications okay that's it for now and See you in the next videos. Bye.